Welcome back to Champion Secrets. This week's question is, what exercise can I do to increase my speed on the court? So when it comes to speed and movement on the court, it's all about footwork. And a component of footwork is foot speed. If we can have a fast foot speed, that means that the time it takes to land and push off of the court is very quick. And the way that we improve our foot speed is to increase the reaction time that it takes between the landing and the push off. The focus here is to activate the muscles with a focus on the front three quarters of the foot. We wanna have our gravity constantly on the forward 75% of our foot as opposed to back on our heels. Because when we're back on our heels, it's much more difficult to get that quick movement off of the ground. So simply by focusing on getting your gravity a little more forward, imagine like your gravity is between your hips and in, to increase your speed, try to move that a little bit forward, closer to out here in front of your belly button. And by thinking about that, you'll, you'll feel the momentum moving forward a little bit and that's gonna help you be ready to move. Now, it doesn't mean you're only gonna be moving forward because as we know on the badminton court, we have to be able to go backwards and twist side to side as well. But by keeping that gravity accessible here, as opposed to back on your heels, which often means a straight leg, then we're gonna be more ready to push off and move in whatever direction we need to go on the court. Specifically, there's an exercise called fast feet drill which is excellent for improving the speed in which your feet hits the ground and moves off again. Because even, and I'm sure you've all had this as well, I've had it too, where you see the shot and you're telling your muscles to move and you want your feet to move, but it's almost like there's a delayed reaction. And that has to do with the fast twitch fibers inside the muscles and training those to connect from the message of your brain that says move and being able to send that signal down and push off in as fast as possible so that you get to the shot as soon as you can. So this exercise, fast feet exercise drill that I wanna show you has five different movements. And these you can do anywhere. If you're on a badminton court, great. If you're at home, you can do it there as well. You don't even need your racket, although I like to hold my racket just so that I can visualize what kind of movements I would use this in a game scenario. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna break down these five exercises into slow and fast components. Because until you can do these properly slow, then there's no sense in doing them fast. So ideally, you're gonna do them slowly first for about 20 to 30 seconds and then speed up and go immediately into 20 to 30 seconds of fast. Now, just when you're starting out, you might wanna reduce that to 10 seconds slow and 10 seconds fast until you get your stamina built up. But eventually you wanna be able to work towards about a 40, 45 second rally, which is about 20 seconds slow, 20 seconds fast, because that's a long rally on the court and that makes you able and confident that you can cover that. So the first one we're gonna do it's helpful to have a line. So if you're at home, you can put down some kind of tape or marking on the ground so that you can see where you're stepping. And it's gonna be called over and back. So you're stepping over the line and back again. If you're on the badminton court, you can use the T to guide you over and back, over and back. And if I had dipped my feet in paint, then we would want only the toes to be showing. So again, I'm keeping my heel about half an inch raised off the ground so that I'm activating the muscles that are gonna control the front part of my foot. So it looks like this slow. Notice how I'm staying low in my legs. Then when I wanna activate the quick, then I start moving, but it doesn't mean I stand up and my body isn't moving. I'm still staying low and letting my toes do the work. Notice how you're not hearing. You wanna be light on the court because that's where the speed comes in. Okay, you wanna be like a leopard on the court, not like an elephant. 
Exercise number two is what we call twists to the side. So this is the type of footwork you would imagine you would use when it comes to smash defense. Being able to twist for the mid-court shots. So it looks like this in slow. Twist, back, twist, back, twist, back. So again, I've got space between my feet. I'm focusing on the front part of my toes and I'm twisting with my toes pointing from straight ahead to the side. Straight ahead, side, straight, side. Now this one's pretty easy when you go slow. It takes a bit of coordination because badminton after all is a lot like dancing. You have to be coordinated and you have to learn the step slowly first. Otherwise, you look a little foolish when you start going to the fast rhythm. So once we can do it slow and you feel comfortable with that, then speed it up, but keep the same movements. That's really important to get that muscle memory. Side, front, side, front. So in a faster version, side, front, side, front, side, front. And see, after you get comfortable with it, if you can look up, not stare at your feet. Again, try to land softly so that you're not thumping down on the court, because when you thump, that means you're sending all your energy down into the ground instead of being able to access it and push off quickly to the next shot. Number three is probably the easiest. That's just standing on the spot, what we call making it rain. And that one we call that because it's as if you're hearing the rain on the roof. You're just standing on the spot and then you go slowly faster and you can go faster until you're going full speed. And when you have a few people doing this exercise, it really sounds like a thunderstorm outside on the roof. The fourth one we're gonna do is what I call the salsa dance because it's essentially like salsa dancing. You're taking one step in front and then twisting behind. In front, behind. So for this, use a line going straight down and then take your racket leg so if you're right-handed that's going to be your right leg stepping in front on that line and then behind and you're bringing that right hip with you turning it open and then front open and this is just like when we do the twist back for an overhead shot when we come from our base and then we turn back so that's why we practice this so we get a fast movement in that twisting action. And it's also, for any salsa dancers, the same movement as you do on the dance floor. So that's what it looks like slow. And then to speed it up, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. And I like to use the racket for this one so I get the idea that I'm pulling the racket up as if I was going to hit an overhead shot. The last one is a fun one you can do. This is more for coordination and it looks like this. You don't need the racket. You're gonna to be touching your heels, still starting on your toes, but you're lifting your heels up in front of you. So lift, lift, and then behind, behind. Lift, lift, behind, behind. This is more for coordination than anything, but it's a fun one that finishes off the exercise in a unique way. So front, front, back, back, front, front, back, back. And then slowly see if you can go a little bit faster. So if you want to increase your speed on the court, you have to focus on moving your gravity more out in front of you. And that will activate the front three quarters of your foot and make it faster for you to move off the ground. Practice these five exercises and hopefully that will help Keep your foot speed up. That's all for this week. See you next time on Champion Secrets.